Cool. All right. Um, so I don't need to introduce this problem. Um, I'll also introduce myself and say I don't care about containers at all, except for one reason, which is that you all are the reason that I am able to do this thing. So I want ABI standardization for other reasons. But when I started out, I had, I had my motivations from languages and whatever. And basically everyone said, ah, all the container m people need this and they will kill the MPI forum if they don't do this now. So I know that you're not actually violent people, but um, thank you all for your support. Uh, it's been fantastic. So uh, this is basically already introduced. I know there's more than two ABIs, but basically there's two. And as previously shown, it's a tremendous pain in all of our butts uh, that they're not interoperable. However, there is prior art uh, for partial ABI standardization, which is that which MPITCH did many years ago to be compatible with Intel MPI, which of course is the reason that no one is up here complaining about MPITCH, MVPITCH, Intel MPI, and Cray MPI interoperability. We're only talking about Open MPI versus the others. Okay, so there's a paper out there. There's a lot of technical detail. Some of it's boring, although if you geek out over the notion of ABIs and all the things in your here, maybe you actually will like this paper. If you Google for the title of the paper, you'll very easily find it. It's the number one Google hit. It's on the archive version is old. However, the IEEE ACM version is open access. So just like the ISC proceedings, which if you didn't know are also open access, um, there's no paywall, whatever, you can get this paper. So also very important, um, we got almost everybody on this paper. So I wrote most of this paper, but we got every single dimension of the problem covered by, of course, our friends at CEA, um, both of the major MPIs, third-party languages, libraries. Um, Eric Schneider has actually written um, one of the three MPI ABI interposition. Obviously, you heard about we for mpi which is the original gangster of, of ABI interoperability and MPI, and I think the most robust. And I wrote one um, basically because if I don't write the code, I don't feel like I understand the problem. So it turns out Eric and I basically built the same thing, but I didn't understand his code until I wrote basically the same thing. And after I wrote it, then I read Ed or Eric's code again, and I said, ah, he was right, he got it. So we understand this problem really, really well. So this is, of course, maybe the most compelling part, whether you care about the technical solution or not, you just want your stuff to work. Okay, so when I started out, I think it was about 2022, um, my, uh, as it went along, it was much easier than I expected it to be. I thought last year that I would be done this year, and I would be talking about being done here, or very close. So the good news is we are almost done. The bad news is if you know anything about standards bodies, it's not a linear process. It's like, you know, Zeno's paradox or whatever. The We're 95% of the way there, or 98% of the way there, and it's still going to take a while to get the other 2%. Um, so the good news is, as previously noted, there are trampolines. There are interposition layers to solve this. Um, I like mine, but it's the worst. I mean, it, I can say that it's better in a couple dimensions. Uh, but, but you know, we for MPI is a great solution. MPI trampoline is a great solution. Um, and if you use my code, uh, you'll be sad that I don't understand how DL Open works as well as the other folks. Um, MPitch has a prototype. Uh, so they actually got involved really early on. Um, I actually expected them to be resistant and skeptical, and it turns out that's actually a great thing. They were resistant and they were skeptical until they implemented it, and we had a whole bunch of arguments, you know, polite design arguments, and then they figured out, oh, turns out it's not that hard. We're going to be able to do this. Open MPI has not started really working on it in any form. However, for various technical reasons that I'll go into if somebody asks me the question, they're, they're going to have an easier time with this anyways, um, and I'm going to start talking to some of my colleagues about how we can get there. Um, so of course, the diffusion will be it'll get implemented upstream in MPitch and Open MPI, and then it'll diffuse through the ecosystem with Intel MPI and HPCX, and then of course, whenever it gets there, it'll get there in apt and SPAC and whatever things. I mean, obviously, SPAC will get it very, very quickly because uh, they move fast. So um, what's left? Well, it turns out C was the easy part. If you know anything about how ABIs work and you know anything about Fortran and its ABI, uh, you'll know why the Fortran part is hard. The thing is, we're not actually trying to solve Fortran. We're just trying to solve the C part that interacts with Fortran, and it turns out that that is horrendous. Um, I happen to also be on the Fortran Standards Committee, so I get to, like, you know, be mad at 
like both sides of my people all the time. Um, there's some things that we will solve and some things we won't. The good thing is you won't have to change your source um, and there will be an SO with a standardized name. Um, we won't standardize wrappers because we never have and we never will. However, the ecosystem has standardized wrappers um, and, and it's going to be pretty clear. Um, and of course, um, we're not going to break things. MPI doesn't actually break things. We make your lives hard, but uh, we will never make it harder. Uh, so MPitch and OpenMPI will continue to support their ABIs until they're, they run out of customers for that. So someday you'll be able to get MPitch with and without the ABI. And of course, my hope is that all the container people um, you know, beat down the door and everybody supports a standard ABI and we never have to talk about this again. But there are ISVs out there that you know, will ship the not standard ABI uh, thing for a while and you know, such is life. All right, that's it. Uh, I guess I can take questions or yield my time. For Jeff, so what, what can we do to help push things along? Um, or do you feel like it's got the momentum it needs? Uh, um, <laughs> uh, well, you could say that Jeff is right about all technical <laughs> arguments and to stop arguing with him. Uh, no, but uh, so if you're a voting member of the MPI forum, which takes no effort other than showing up to the meetings two or three times in a row, please show up, please voice. You know, we have about 30 orgs, and I think I'm going to get 28 votes. Okay. Uh, but it would be really great to have consensus and to have user voice. There are a lot of people who are like, this is such an obviously good idea that they're not fighting for it. And so the, you know, it'd be nice to have a couple people show up and say, you know, we really would like you to finish this ABI as soon as possible because we wanted it like 15 years ago and we're tired. Yeah. Um, but no, I think the other one will be, um, you know, if you're associated with the open MPI community, politely encouraging them, right? Um, there's different development models for the MPI libraries and, and have it that for them, they're customer driven. So if the customers say, users say, you know, we'd really like to see you prototype this. We don't want to wait for it to be voted. Mm -hmm. Please do that. And I think that'll help us. Okay. If I get this, or is it correct when I say like this ABI compatibility you talked about, if we have this one single ABI, we don't need to mess with like the Lipfabric provider that Alberto talked about. We don't need this Trembolin or Wi-Fi API anymore. Or is it? Well, it's turtles all the way down. It's <laughs> oh, sorry, yeah. Turtles all the way down. So it, it will solve the MPI problem. And if you can hot swap the entire MPI, li MPI library, that's fine. However, there, if, if the lower level of abstraction layer is the, the bottom for your app, because your app uses things other than MPI, such as you know, GasNet or Charm++ or Nickel yeah. or any of those other things, then what Marco's doing is, is useful there. It's just, you know, from an MPI perspective, we rule the world and nobody else should use any other communication. You know, they shouldn't exist. But if you use other communication runtimes, then you do need a lower level abstraction. Okay. And so, yes, it's great to solve that one too. So, Nickel, we should just get rid of Nickel, right? That's what you said. I'm going to get fired if I respond to that. No, I'm joking. No, Nickel is awesome. It's just, yeah, challenge.